Hello everyone, so it's good to see you all again. I'm Natasha and welcome back. So today we're going to continue our chapter number five, complex numbers and quadratic equations. So uh, in the previous video, you know, we discussed about the organ plane, or which we can also call it a, uh, call as a complex plane. And in this video, we'll be discussing about, guess what? What's going to be our today's topic? Well, it's going to be modulus of a complex number. I, I even told you about uh, it in the last video, right? I think so, yeah, I did. Okay, so uh, in our today's video, like we'll be discussing about the modulus of a complex number. So what is it and uh, how is it like uh, represented in the form of a graph, you know, on the plane? How is it represented on the organ plane? So uh, let's get started. Okay, so first thing that what's our topic? It's uh, the modulus of a complex number. So I'm just only going to write the modulus as complex numbers already written. So, modulus of Z. Do you know what is this Z for? Like, what a, like, why did I use this Z? Actually, this Z is for the complex number. So, I can say this Z is a complex number, right? So, what I'm trying to say is modulus of a complex number. Z is a complex number, right? Okay, so modulus of z. Well, yeah, one thing I told you that we can represent any complex number, you know, we can represent a complex number by, you know, any letter, any alphabet. It can be A, C, uh, J, K, L, or anything else, okay? But it's usually represented by z, so that's why I'm using z here, okay? Okay, so... But yeah, uh, make sure to not have any misunderstanding towards this small thing. Okay, so first of all, like during the plane. I think it's too long from down. Okay, I'm going to like make it again. Okay, I think this must, uh, this is like enough. Okay, so what we have is, what we have here is O, our origin, or I can say zero comma zero. And, and let's say that uh, I have a point P, okay, somewhere like, uh, let's say we have the point P here, okay, uh, right here. And P is, you know, is, you know, the point. So, uh, first of all, like, uh, as we're talking about the complex number, so some few things I want to write here before, you know, starting our topic. So, oh, it's, uh, here it's going to be X, or I can say the real X is. And here it's going to be negative y, negative x, positive y, which I can also call as imaginary x's. Right? Yeah. Okay, so the real x's and the, oh yeah, the real x's and the imaginary x's, right? Okay, so one thing, so what I said that let p, let p be the point. So like uh, through, uh, you know, through which how like uh, how, you know, like how we're going to represent that complex number. So this is how we'll represent the complex number just through a point. So let's say we have a point P. Okay. And first thing, like what is this complex number Z of? So Z is equal to X plus iota Y. And do you know why did I use iota here? It's like... Uh, you know, we discussed about it all multiple times, so I hope uh, you haven't forgot it. So, this iota is like for the imaginary part. And what's your imaginary axis? Uh, why is the, you know, why axes are imaginary axis? That's why now I'm writing iota y. So don't forget to write iota as we're discussing about the complex numbers. So, this is like fixed. 
okay we don't need to like like there's no not even a single chance to you know forget about this okay so z is equal to x plus iota y x is uh okay so one thing that i want to say this in the complex number this x and y belongs to real numbers okay we don't know the rules but but for sure like any any of the equations or whatever like uh, whatever the real part of the imaginary part is they're both going to be the real numbers so they're like they belong to the real numbers right yeah so let's continue so as, I, as i've said that is z is equal to x plus uh, iota y right so what if like i want to find the modulus of this complex number so first of all let's you know uh represent this uh complex number right here so this point p and in bracket which is the x plus iota y okay and to you know match it i just use it like this way i think it's too dark right yeah so it's too dark so i'm gonna draw it again It's sometimes difficult to draw a straight line. Uh, just wait a second. Yeah. I hope you can still hear me. Okay, so this is totally becoming a mess. Okay, whatever. And I'm, I'm not gonna waste all my time in this uh, line just to make it straight. So uh, what we have is our point P, so which is actually the complex number Z. Oh, is it a rhyme? I think so, P and Z. Okay, never mind. Uh, that doesn't even matter. Okay, so we have our complex number X plus iota Y. So we need to find the modulus of a complex number. So what I did that let P be the point let P be the point that denotes the complex number Z is equal to X plus Y. So what I've said is that, that let P be the point, be the point that denotes, that denotes the complex number, a complex number, What's the complex number? It's z, which is equal to x plus iota y. Okay? Then, op is equal to... So, what is it going to be equal... Uh, what is it like... Uh, what, what's going to be the value of this op? And why did I wrote it? Why did I, you know, just uh, wrote it here? So, first thing I want to tell you that... The modulus of a complex number is actually the distance between the, uh, you know, the point P and uh, the point and, you know, this uh, origin. So, so what I can say relative to the complex, num complex number that it is the distance between the complex number uh, and the origin. So what's the complex number? Like I'm trying to say that it is the distance between the point P, which is, you know, the X plus iota Y and the origin O, which is zero comma zero, right? Yeah. So, uh, so what I'm trying to say is that, uh, you know, what's going to be our OP? So OP is going to be actually, you know, um, okay, so this is like, uh, what is it? What is this? Can anyone tell me like, okay, so Z is a complex number. Do you know what are these stand for? Or uh, if you know that, you know, which we can say mod, right? And mod, which means modulus. So it's like there's no need to get confused. So what do we have to find? The modulus of complex number, Z, right? So that's what I just wrote. So it's going to be equal to under root x squared plus y squared. Okay, like we're, you know, we're just having a little bit of confusion. Like 
How is it here? Okay, as far as we know, the rationalization, right? Okay. Well, now we're not. Of course, we're not going to talk about the uh, rationalization here, but we're going to talk about a little. You know, just a little bit about conjugating. As we have already discussed about this topic, conjugating of a complex number. So this is related to this topic. Okay. Right. So what I can say is that this x plus iota y and x minus iota y is equal to x square plus y square. Right? I can say that. Can I say this? Of course I can. As far as we all know that we can write this equation like this thing like this way. As you know we did in the in, in you know a question. We actually discussed about this in a question. That's what so what's given to us x plus iota y? But if I'm going to talk about this x minus iota y, then it's going to be right here, okay? But yeah, we're not talking about the conjugating. We're talking about the modulus. So I just want to say that this modulus will be equal to the under root x squared plus y squared. And that's what we're having, oh, you know, that's what we're seeing, right? So now let me tell you more thing about it, okay? More thing about this. And yeah, we're also going to discuss about its properties. I don't know why, uh, like, I don't know, like, uh, either, like, uh, either if we're going to discuss about it in this video or maybe next video. I'm not sure, but for now, let's just, you know, let's move on. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to say is that what is my modulus? It is root x squared plus y squared. Okay. So what I'm going to say this, x squared plus y squared. And what is this x squared plus y squared? So the modulus, uh, like, uh, okay, so like this is a statement I'm writing, oh, you know, just a definition I'm gonna say. So the modulus of a complex number. So it is the distance between the point, point P, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, so it is the distance between the point P I wanna make it like a little small, a little short. So it is the distance between between the the point P, which is x plus iota y, and the and the origin and the origin O. How can I forget this? How can I? Okay, okay, I'm gonna write again. Yeah. So what is it? So it's the origin. What's our origin? It's O, which I can say zero comma zero. And if you really remember this, that why is it known as zero comma zero? Well, of course, it's related to the x-axis and the y-axis. We already know about this. If you don't, then I might be thinking, well, why don't you know about this thing? Okay, whatever. That's not our topic. Even if you don't know about this, that doesn't even matter. Okay, so complex number is the distance between the point P and the origin O, right? Yeah. So this is what I'm going to say that the modulus of a complex number. So that's what I'm going to say. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So next thing I want to uh, say that the points on the x-axis corresponds to the complex number of the form a, pl uh, a plus iota b. Okay, so this is a statement, a plus iota b. Like, uh, I can also take this iota b. Okay, okay, I just read this a plus iota b, right? Okay. So what does this mean? This a will be x and this b will be y. 
right? So there's no need to be confused. So what I'm saying that the x-axis will correspond to this. So, uh, you know, to the form like we're having x plus iota y, all right? I can also say a plus iota b. But, but we have not mentioned uh, the a and b here. So I'm going to say x plus y, okay? But, you know, no need to get confused here. Okay, so uh, one point that... One point related to the x-axis, what is it? The points on the x-axis corresponds to the complex number of the form x plus iota y. Okay, so let me write this. The points, the points on the x-axis. Okay, let me just, you know, clean this. I'm going to, you know, just uh, clean this up because I don't think there's any need to just let it go. Yeah, so the points on the x-axis corresponds, corresponds to the complex number, complex number of, of the form x plus iota y okay well we just have a look at this what is it what is it okay so one thing i want to say is that what are these zeros for if you know if you know the statement is actually a little wrong uh okay okay L let me tell you how okay so actually they're like there's no corresponding relationship so there's no corresponding between the complex number because our what's our complex number it's x plus iota y right yeah and what i just wrote here was x plus iota y so how is it going to be same as we're talking about the x-axis what is our x-axis real axis what is our real axis real part and how how do we write the real part like uh, for example, like I want to write 2 as a complex number. How am I going to write it? 2 plus 0 iota, right? Or iota 0, like whatever you want to write, okay? Right? So I'm talking about the x-axis. So how can I be, you know, just uh, uh, including that too? I'm only talking about the x-axis. So which means that the 0 iota will come, okay? As there are no imaginary part we're talking Okay, so it's going to be of the form A, or I can say, oh, oh, let me just write X is going to be more better than this one. So they're like, there will be no confusion at all. Okay, so of the form X plus zero iota, right? And same to this point, the points on, the points on, the y-axis corresponds. Can you tell me, like, uh, like who, like whom, whom it uh, will it can correspond to? The points on the y-axis corresponds to the complex number of the form. What's going to be the form of the form? What is it going to be? Okay, so in this case, we're talking about the y-axis, right? The imaginary axis. The imaginary axis has the imaginary part, so which means oh, we'll have no real part. So I'm going to say 0 plus uh, iota y. Is this clear? Is this clear? Yes. If yes, then that, like everything's clear to us. That's it. Actually, that was it really. So what, what are these two statements are trying to tell us? So this is saying that the points, the whatever the points we're having on the x-axis, they will correspond to the complex number of the form x plus zero iota. You know, so what is it saying? That we're having an uh, imaginary, uh, that we're not having an imaginary part, but we're having an imagine, uh, a real part. And in this, we're having an imaginary part, but not having a real part part right like this is what i can say through these forms okay like the way they're written here and given to us okay okay so 
I hope this modulus topic's clear to you. And uh, one thing I wanna tell you, like there's some points to remember about this. Oops. Yeah. So there's some points that I wanna tell you that one thing is that the representation of a complex number z is equal to x plus iota y. Okay, if I'm gonna talk about this conjugate, what is it going to be? Like, I, I think I've already discussed about this, yeah. And x minus iota y, right? So, uh, you know, in the organ plane. So it, what is it gonna be respectively, the points I'm talking about? P and, and let's say that I have one more point, okay? Uh, if I have point Q, okay? Uh, let's say, but yeah, I'm not gonna talk about this thing in, in this video, maybe next video, like uh, when we're going to, uh, you know, maybe in the next video, like uh, whenever like we'll discuss about the properties of modulus for complex number. So we're also going to discuss about the conjugate, but I'm telling you a little bit about it. So uh, this X minus iota Y right here, right? I'm not gonna write anything, I'm just saying. So let's say we have a point Q, and Q is equal, uh, and Q is the point, uh, which is for, you know, which is for the x minus iota y, okay? So, so, so the, the complex number, the representation of the complex number x plus iota y and its conjugate x minus iota y, what is it going to be? So, respectively, like, if I'm going to talk about its points, then it's going to be the p, which is for x plus iota y, and q, which is for x minus iota y, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so then two things I want to say is, first thing, that this z is greater than zero. What does this mean? Mod z. This means that this complex number, so the modulus of a complex number will be greater than zero. Always be greater than zero. So let's take it, uh, let's take a small example, okay? Okay. So, uh, let's put the values. So let's say this x plus iota y. We have this x plus iota y. So let's say the x is given to us 2 and our y is given to us 4. So iota, 4 iota, right? So 2 plus 4 iota. What if I want to find the modulus of this? Okay. Well, we haven't discussed about this, but I'm going to discuss about it in uh, maybe next video. But, you know, just to, you know, prove this or uh, just to say this. Okay, so the modulus, what is it going to be? It, it's going to be 2 square plus 4 square. And what is going to be 2 square? 4 plus of 16, which is going to be 20. So our answer is 20. And 20 is greater than 0. Okay, let's take the smallest value, okay? Okay, okay, actually I solved it just by this way, okay? So don't take it like the way like we usually solve the questions. It can be in a little different way, but you know, according to me, like for now, I just solve, solve it like this way. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's say this. So at the place of two, I have one. And at the place of uh, y, let's say I have two. One plus two iota, which is going to be one square plus two square. And what is it going to be? Oh, yeah, one thing I forgot. This root, right? Okay, okay. So this square root. So two square root. So what is it going to be? Okay. Under root 20, right? Root 20. Root 20 will be? Can you say what is it going to be root 20? Okay, okay. If I'm going to talk about 20, so it's going to be 5 into 4, 20, or 4 into 5. So let's say 5 into 4, which is going to be, I can say like this way, right? I can say, or is there any other way that you have to find, okay? Okay, so whatever, like, you know, like there's no need to get confused. Actually, there will be a, maybe a different way to solve the questions. Uh, actually, I'm not aware of the questions like of uh, right now. So, you know, so like there will be some different kind of uh, method or something else to, you know, solve the questions. So we'll just, you know, see about it in uh, maybe in another video. 
Okay, so let's just forget about it. So all I wanted to tell you is that whatever answer we'll get, it will be greater than zero. Okay. So the modulus of a complex number will be, you know, is greater than zero. Right? Yeah. So like there's no need to discuss about this. Actually, I'm totally not aware of this question that I just told you right now. So it was just to tell you about this thing. Okay, so now the second thing I want to say. What's the second thing? It's actually just a simple note, okay? So you can say this as a note. So what's the second point? Second point is that all the complex numbers with same modulus lie on the circle with center origin and radius r. Okay. Let's say this. We have a, a radius r here, okay? And radius r is equal to mod z, okay? One thing's here. r is equal to mod z. So, and mod z is equal to this thing. So, like, there's common. So, what is it saying? That all the complex number, all the complex numbers that lie on, you know, uh, on, you know, the circle, okay? Circle. And the center, center, of the radius. Okay, so what's this? What's the radius? It is equal to mod z, right? Okay, so the radius is equal to mod z. So it's tra it's saying that uh, you know that all the complex number with mo same modulus lie on the circle. Okay, and uh, and one more thing that the circle with length. Uh, okay, okay, we're not talking about length. So circle with center origin and radius r, which is equal to mod z. Okay, so all the complex numbers with same modulus lie on the circle. Okay, so it's, a, it's talking about the two things, the, that the radius r, which is equal to mod z, and second thing is the center of the origin, right? Is it the center of the origin? Yeah, it is actually the, you know, the circle with center origin, right? Yeah. So what is it trying to say there? What, like, how many complex numbers will be there? Like, like, no matter, like, uh, how many complex numbers are there, like, all the complex number with same modulus. Like, if they're having the same modulus, then, so then, you know, like, they're, they'll obviously, you know, uh, lie on the circle with the center origin and this radius r, which is equal to mod z. Okay, don't worry, like, we'll discuss about, we're gonna discuss about the mo modulus of z a half course of a complex number in uh, more detail and in next video so that's all for today and uh, uh and, uh, you know so for the next video we'll be discussing about the properties of a modulus uh, of a modulus of a complex number and we'll discuss some questions too i think so yeah and maybe we'll discuss about the second point too okay so like just want to discuss it uh you know in uh, more detail so we'll study about all these things uh in next video so i hope you know uh in the next video like uh like we we always have fun right in a, a, uh, every topic we discuss so uh I don't know like what to say for now, but thanks for watching and have a great day.